morning. Please be seated. Appointed to the state Supreme Court in 2011 and elected in 2012, Justice Stephen Gonzalez has been part of historic rulings on everything from school funding to the death penalty. But he's worried a lack of name recognition could hurt his reelection chances. I think if people read the voters pamphlet statement, do a modicum of research, they'll see that there's a difference in ability here and do the right thing. I think ignorance is the enemy in this race. Why is it fair to say you get no more than that? In 2012, pollsters thought that Justice Gonzalez might have lost votes because of a reluctance for voters to back a minority candidate whose name they didn't know. Justice Gonzalez says voting for his opponent solely on a name would be a mistake. If you believe that the Titanic was intentionally sunk to change the banking regulations, uh, then you might support him. A lot of people will say, oh, this guy is a tin for a conspiracy nut because he believes the Titanic was intentionally sunk. Attorney Nathan Choi is Justice Gonzalez's opponent. The Titanic actually has smaller windows. His campaign website contains conspiracy theories about the sinking of the Titanic and the deep state. Two issues Choi says he's reserved judgment on. You got to look at the arguments from this point and both that point, and I think that's what makes me more fair. Choi was inspired to run by justices who he says have been legislating from the bench. He says race should not play a role in the contest, noting Choi has an ethnic name as well. Both candidates agree voters should do their homework and get to know the candidates before voting. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.